With our hands on your waist, let's begin our warm up by stepping from side to side, bring your knees up. That's right. Now, the important thing to remember is that the changes aren't going to be quick and they're probably not going to be drastic. You've got to learn to be patient with yourselves and you've got to learn to exercise and diet properly, okay? Consult your physician, talk to him. Tell him what your plans are. See if they're realistic. Because if you're heavily overweight, then what you've got to do is you've got to do it the safe and sound way. And even if you just want to lose five, five pounds, please be sensible about it. No fad diets, basic, good, healthy diets, okay? Stepping side to side, let's count down. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's incorporate some arm movements just by reaching from side to side. There we go. Good. Got it? Reaching side to side. Keeping our arms up at shoulder height and reach. Keep reaching. That's good. Everyone's doing it today. Doesn't matter what you look like. The main thing is that you're all trying. Trying you are. That's good. Let's count down now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hands on your waist. Let's turn both toes to the same direction. And let's bend our knees as we roll down, rolling down our spine. Relax. Keep our chins on our chest. Now, if you can't reach your hands to the floor, that's fine. Use a table top or a chair. And if you can, bring your hands to the floor. And as you bring your hands to the floor, straighten out your legs. Ideally, try to get your chest to your knee. There you go. Get your chest right to your knee. Feel a nice stretch in along the backs of your legs. Keep your heels down. Relax while you're stretching. And bend your knees, both of them. And let's roll up. Good. Let's come around to the other side. Same thing. Bend your knees. Chin on chest. Roll down. Round your spine. Roll down, keep your knees bent, find your balance, place your palms on the floor or place your hands on a chair, whatever's most comfortable for you. Straighten out your knees and try and get your chest down to your knees. There you go. Feel a nice stretch in along the backs of your legs. Good. Hold it. And bend your knees, rolling up, roll up your spine, chin on your chest. Come all the way up, good. Face front, come up onto your toes and down. And onto your toes and down. And onto your toes and down. Toe out, onto your toes and down. Onto your toes and down. Now pigeon toed, in you come. Down. Just warm up our calves and down. And up and down. Let's walk our toes out. Rolling out as we go. Walk our feet back in. There we go, now we've got our legs warmed up, our bodies warmed up, and let's start the march. Leading into our cardiovascular section. Okay, now it's very important that you're exercising on a surface that's well padded, such as a carpet or a matted area, and that you are wearing footwear, just to ensure that there's some padding there to absorb the shock as you jump. Now, beginners don't bounce, remember that. They don't do any jumping. Intermediate people do, however. Now, when we're landing, we initially land on the ball of our foot, but then we do roll to our heel. It's very important that you remember to roll to your heel, okay? Concentrate on keeping your back flat, and by that I mean that you're not arching, and nor are you slouching, your back is nice and flat. In essence, you're doing a bit of a pelvic tilt, okay? Good. Now, if you don't understand what a flat back is still, after the program, go up to a wall and put your heels up to the back of the wall, and try and get your lower back to touch the wall. That's flat back, okay? That's the position you need to be in for this exercise. And you should have your shoulders up, back, and they should be very relaxed, so that you're getting a nice, clear flow of oxygen in through the lung area. Hands on your waist. Good. Let's concentrate now. Roll to that heel. Good. And let's swing our arms. Come on. Good. Back's flat. There we go. Gradually increasing our heart rate. Gradually increasing circulation. We're going to branch off now. Don't be alarmed. There will be two of me on the screen at one time. One doing a beginner level, the other doing an intermediate level. You choose the level at which you would like to work. Are you ready? Let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lightly jogging on the spot. It's nice to see everyone trying out there. It's good. Lightly jogging. 
Bring your toe forward, hands on your waists. Beginners are simply bringing their feet forward as they step forward. That's right. Good. Bring them forward, forward. Hands are on your waist, you're relaxed. It's important that you count down with me too. Not only because I feel silly counting by myself, but because it gives you an idea as to how hard you're working. You see, if you're working so hard that you're panting and you're out of breath and you count down with me, then you're working far too hard. You gotta slow down the pace somewhat. Okay, slow it down by leaving out arm movements, perhaps doing the beginner level, or going back to the beginning where we're stepping from side to side, or go for a light, light walk. Okay, just the main thing is to keep moving. Good. Let's count down to incorporate our movements. Increase those heart rates. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reaching and crossing. Crossing in front and pushing out. Palms are down. That's right. You've got it. For those of you who have been watching for a long time and not exercising along, now's your chance. Come on. Good. There you go. Cross and over. Cross and over. Keeping your elbows up at shoulder height. Work your arms. Move around as you do the exercise. There you go. And again, a lot of variations here in this one exercise. You can do little movements. See the beginners doing little movements. Or we can all do big movements. Choice is yours. Let's count down now. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands on our waist. Bring your heels up. Good. Bring your heels up to the back. Now we're stretching out the fronts of our legs, exercising the backs of our legs. Bring your heels right up. Roll to your heel. Good. You see, we were just working the fronts of our legs in our last exercise. Now it's very important that we exercise the opposing muscle groups, the backs of our legs, which is what we're doing here. Working antagonistic, antagonistic muscle groups is what it's called technically. Bring it up. Come on. Bring your heels right up. Beginners are stepping and bringing their heels up as well, doing the best that they can. Good. Let's incorporate our movements. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reaching cross and cross. And again, lots of variations. You can exercise like so. Little movements. See, little movements. Or make it big. There you go. Good. All the energy that you have put into your exercises. There you go. Crossing right over left, left over right. Let's count down to change. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee up and kick. Up, kick. Same leg. Can count. Up and kick. Up and kick. Come on, bring it up and kick. Knee up, back flat. Roll to your heel. Count down. Five. Four. Come on. There are three. Good. Two. One. Other side. Bring it up. Kick out. Don't worry if your timing's off. That's okay. As long as you're doing the exercise, keep going. Let's count down. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the center, side to side. Hands on your waist. Working our inner and outer thigh region. Working our waistlines too, if we really move from side to side. Again, lots of variation here little side to side. See the beginners are stepping to side to side, just lifting their legs a little lighter. Small little lifts. If you want more exercise, bring them up. There you go. Come on, really up. Good. Do whatever you can. Do it. Come on. Let's count down. Arm movements. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms out and reach. There you go. Really reach with those arms. Come on. Snap. You can do it. Come on. Big movements 
or, as we said earlier, little movements, or take it up. Do what you can. There you go. Let's count to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Facing front. 1, 2, 3, lift. Side. 1, 2, 3, lift. Front. Lift. Side. 1. Lift. Front. Side. Front. Side. 2, 3, lift. Front. 2, 3, lift. Side. Lift. Good. Keep going. Lift. Come on. Bring them right up to your back side. Roll to that heel. Keep going. Lift. And count up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. No breaks. Knees up. Hands on your waist. Back flat. Come here. Come on. Roll to your heel. Bring your knees up. There you go. Come on. Let's count down to incorporate our movements. You ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reach again. Come on. There we go. Knees up. Come on. Again, lots of variation here. Knees can be down, like so. Beginners doing a variation. Or bring your knees up. Push, come on. Work hard. There you go. Let's count it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lightly drag on the spot. Beginners rolling on the spot. Let's take our pulse rate. Keep moving. Locate your pulse rate using the first two fingers, either on your wrist or more accurately in your neck. Find it, feel it. Count for 10 seconds beginning now. Stop counting, keep moving. Now the number you've just counted, find it along the side of our chart and find your age along the bottom of the chart. Where the two meet should hopefully be somewhere within this blue area just to give you an idea of how you should be working, okay? If your number is less than the lower limit numbers here and you're a beginner, don't worry, something to work towards. Keep track of this number too as well as your measurements and your weight. We'll be right back after commercial break. Very important to keep warm, keep moving, throw on some sweatpants if you like, come back for SOS, please. Welcome back to our SOS section. And in case you didn't keep moving during the commercial break, let's work on cooling our legs down while we work our waists. Hands are on our shoulders, resting. We'll bring up and down. And cross and down. Bring it across and down. Bring it right across your body. Work your waistline. There you go. And up and down. Forward and back. Good. Let's count down. 10. Nine, try and keep your upper body fairly strict. Eight, good. Seven, bring your knee up, that's right. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come up to the other side now, same thing. Cross and down, and across and down. It's very important that you, when you are trying to lose weight and you've taken your measurements and you've weighed yourself, that you be patient, very patient with yourself. Especially if it took you a while to put on the weight, you're not going to get it off immediately, okay? All you're going to lose immediately is water retention. That doesn't stay off for long. Don't get dissolution, though. Take your time in losing weight and it'll stay off, okay? And you don't lose weight necessarily from the areas that you always want to. For example, if your problem area is the hips and thighs, chances are you're not going to lose weight from that area right away. Please expect that. Patience, patience. Keep going. Let's count down now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center and let's just take our arms onto our waist and let's bend to the side. Feel a nice stretch in along the waistline. Let's stretch it out before we actually work it. Make sure that you're bending to the side. Keep your elbow in line with your leg. Check to make sure. There you go. Don't bend forward and don't bend 
back, bend right to the side. Very, very strict, okay? Let's stretch once more each side, and then we'll start working our waistline a bit more. And come up. Last time, stretch over. Come up. With our hands once again on our shoulders, let's twist. Forward and twist. Remember, keep your hips forward. Keep your eyes forward. Your feet are about shoulder width apart. Just comfortably apart. And you're twisting. Good. You know, another idea might be to mark down, make note of how you're feeling. How do you feel as far as energy right now? And how do you feel about your self-image? How do you feel about yourself? Just make a note today and date it. Exercise with me for a month. And I know that that sounds like a big commitment, but just for one month, three times a week. You can check your scales and your measurements and your comments about yourself in two weeks, but give yourself an actual month of exercising three times a week, and then see if you don't feel better. Okay, good. Just some ideas, things for you to try. Okay. Especially if you've got some time on your hands. Half an hour a day is not very much. Just use this time for yourself. Pamper yourself, exercise. Let's count down now. 10, nine, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch out with your fingertips at shoulder height and reach to the right and reach to the left. Keep your arms up at shoulder height. Now reach and reach. Reach, keep your arms up right up at shoulder height. Have a look, make sure that they are at shoulder height. Reach with your fingertips. Good. Working through your waistline, keep your lower body stable. That's right. Usually we do a beginner level as well as an intermediate during our SOS section. However, today we're working the waistline and we'll all work together as a group, okay? Tomorrow, we probably will be doing a beginner and an intermediate level during SOS. We may be working the legs, we may be working the abdominal area, we may be working arms. Surprise you, Tori. Keep reaching and reach and reach. Let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And let's twist again. Twist and bend your arm. And twist and twist and twist. Just as though you're pulling something forward. There you go. You're pulling it from the forward to the side. Good. Reach and pull. Don't clench your fists. Relax your hands always while you exercise. If you do tend to clench your fists while you exercise, sometimes you may develop tension in through your arms and your shoulders. So reach and pull and pull. Good. Nice easy pulls. Really twist that waistline. That's right. Keep going. Good. Reaching and pulling. Breathing in and out. Relaxing. Keep your arms up at shoulder height. As you get tired, your arms have a tendency to drop slightly. Let's concentrate on keeping them right up. Keep those elbows right up. There you go. And count down with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. We're off to a commercial break. During the break, just slowly stretch from side to side. Now it's time for our cool down. You can stop stretching from side to side. And let's put our hands on our waists. And let's bend our knees. And let's just circle around. Stretching at every possible angle. And when you circle back, put your chin on your chest. And don't lean too far back. Careful. Gotta watch our backs. That's right, just circle all the way around. Nice, easy circles. There you go, and let's circle the other way. Keep your knees bent. That's right, don't worry about what you look like. The important thing is that you're exercising properly, that you're stretching properly. That's the main thing, okay? And chin on chest. And let's stand up nice and tall. Let's go down to our towels. Down we go. Sit with our bottoms on our heels. And let's just reach to the right and come up. Feel a nice stretch along the sides of our bodies. And let's reach over to the right. There we go. Nice stretch. 
tiny come up. And let's put our hand down to the other side. Support your upper body weight. Come up and stretch over to that side. Nice stretches. And come back down. And once more each side. This time, let's reach out in front more. And stretch and reach. Good. Feel a nice, easy stretch. And remember, these are exercises for you to keep in mind for tomorrow. If you find that you're a little bit stiff, and down. Reach out in front. Come up. And stretch over. And come back to the center. Sit with your bottoms on your heels. Let's put our hands on our waists. Relax them. And let's take our chin to our chest. Keeping our neck nice and tall. Feel a nice stretch in along the back of your neck and right down through your shoulder blades. And then bring your head up and take your head back. Nice stretch. Bring your head forward. As you bring your head forward, as you move it forward back, make sure that your neck is nice and tall and you're stretching. Take your chin back to your chest. Hold it there. Bring it forward one last time. There we go. Back. Keep your eyes open. Stretch with your eyes. Look as far back as you can. And bring your head up. The last time, bring it forward. And come up to the center. Drop your hands to the side. Take your right ear to your right shoulder. And there's a difference between taking your shoulder to your ear or your ear to your shoulder. In this case, we want to really stretch the opposite side of our neck here. So we're going to concentrate on keeping our shoulders down. Stretching the fingers. There we go, side to side. It's time for me to say goodbye once again. I'd like to thank you for joining me here on the Everyday Workout, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.